Hello out there YouTube friends. I am Cindy and this is Sincerely Cindy Settle. Today is a Stitch Fix Day. If you are not familiar with Stitch Fix, I will have a description down in the description bar. So please check that out along with a referral code for a $25, sometimes it's a $50 credit. Um, just depends on how quickly um, you use that referral credit from the time that I check out. So right now it's probably gonna be a $50 until about, I don't know, two days. I think it's a 48 hour time frame. Anyway, so you pay a $20, $20 styling fee. You get five items curated for you based on your style profile. You get a return envelope to send anything back that you do not wish to keep. Um, you get a little style card in your package as well that gives you some ideas of how to style your items. So I like that, giving me some ideas. And then you get a style note. It looks like I do still have Brittany as my stylist. So I will take a look at that in a few minutes. And then we have our invoice. And you do get a 25%, I think, discount if you purchase all five items. I have never purchased all five items because I have not loved all five items. So the last couple of boxes that I've received, I have not been all that impressed. Um, so they still have me with the same stylist, although I have given them, them the option to not keep my same stylist. So we'll see how she does. So here we go. All right. So here we have a simple market and spruce. Looks like kind of like a heathered navy sweater, crew neck, um, nothing real special about it. I mean, it looks like it's comfortable. It looks like it's a little bit of a high-low. Then we have this pretty little number. They do give you a preview now, so you can preview your items and choose which items from the preview that you wish to keep um, and which ones that you're not all that interested in. And if you only see like two items, say, that you like, then they will curate the rest of your box based on your style profile. So this is very pretty. Um, this is one that I chose to keep from my box. It does have this pretty um, lace in the back that could be worn um, with or without a cardigan. I thought the collars were very pretty. And I actually do think I have a cardigan that will match this that I just kept from a Transcend. So that might be pretty. All right, then we have another sweater. This is very pretty. I do like this. I like that detailing there across the chest. I think that's fun. It's a cream collar with some pinks and grays. Very pretty. And then we have another, is this a dress maybe? Looks like it might, oh, I bet this is a cardigan. Yes, this is like a long, lightweight duster cardigan. It does have some ribbing in that as well. I do like the length of this and it is very lightweight so you could wear it quite a bit. All right and then we have some looks like this is a dark gray jean and these are by Liverpool. No distressing but just a dark gray. All right let's get to trying some stuff on. All right here we are with outfit number one. So the cardigan is very lightweight. Um, you could wear it throughout the spring, fall, winter. Um, it is ribbed. It does have this um, cute little notch there. Not really sure what the purpose of that is. Maybe it's just to be decorative. I don't know. Um, it also has three buttons here that if you chose to button them, that it actually would button and still be um, not be too snug and would still fit properly. So let's take a look at the buttons. There are just three gold buttons there. Very cute, very dainty. You can see the ribbing. You can see through the shirt. You know, you can see through the sweater. Um, again, it's very lightweight. Um, it's very comfortable. I feel like it's a good fit. It does come down to almost the ankle. So it's like mid calf. So I kind of like that. It's different. I don't have anything like this in my closet and I feel like I would get a lot of wear out of it. So this might be a keeper depending on the cost. So let me know what you guys think about this. So I'm not crazy about these three items together. Um, I feel like everything fits well. 
but I'm not crazy about how things were styled this time. Again, very pretty um, top. It is a tank. Um, it does have the pretty lace up here. This is by Daniel Rain. And we have a v-neck, which I like as well. We have this little notching here that kind of allows it to flare out a little bit. The lace does go on to the back and it has that cute opening back there in the back with a couple little buttons. So very pretty, would be very pretty in the spring um, and summer with just a pair of jeans. I do like the color combination. I'm just not sure I'm in love with it. Um, I know that Daniel Rain's gonna be a little more expensive um, and I'm not sure that I love it. I mean, it's okay and I, I like it and it fits well, but I don't know. I tried it on obviously with that black and then I tried it on with the cardigan that I mentioned earlier. Let me get that really quick and I'll try that on for you. So I do like this top a little bit better with a collared cardigan. I feel like it brings out that rust collar in it, but I'm still not, still not in love with it. So I don't think that's going to be a keeper. So let's talk about the jeans. All right. So the jeans fit me fine. Um, but there's really nothing special about them. They're not too tight. They're not too loose. I feel like they're a good fit. Let me pan down so you can see them a little bit better. So they look like they're just a, a basic um, straight leg, dark gray, no distressing. Um, you know, again, very cute, but nothing really special about them. So I don't know if these are going to be keepers or not, but... No, I can tell you that they're not, just because I don't love them. I can already tell that I don't love them. So, all right, let's move on to the next two sweaters. Okay, now I do like this sweater. It's very soft, very comfortable. I feel like it is a good fit. I feel like it's not overwhelmingly large. Um, it, I don't know, I, it's just really pretty. Um, very simple. It is a creamy color. It does have some pink and some orange and gray right in here. I feel like it could be dressed up or dressed down. It is just a crew neck and does have that ribbing there around the neck. Let me show you those colors a little bit better. And that does go all the way around. So what do you think of this one? I kind of like it. It does look good with the gray, doesn't it? I like this look better than the previous outfit, for sure. Let's look at the back. I don't think I showed you the back of the jeans either. What do you think? I think this one might be a keeper. I think I might like this a little bit better than the cardigan. All right, one more sweater. All right, last item. Another really pretty sweater. Very soft. I feel like the fit is good. It is a little bit of a high-low would look cute with um, leggings or jeggings. It does cover the bum and this area very nicely if you wanted to wear leggings with it. It is more of a heathered navy. This is a little bit of a wider um, neckline as opposed to the last sweater I showed you. Very pretty and very comfortable. I'm not sure that I'm in love with it. I'm not sure that I would get a lot of wear out of it, so I'm not sure that it's for me. But if you are interested in any of these items, I will have a description and the price and everything in the description box as well in case you want to ask for any of these items from your stylist. All right, I'll be right back with the wrap-up. Okay, I have my glasses and I have the invoice, so let's see what these prices are. I know you guys have seen the prices. I have not. So let's get right into this. So we have the Daniel Rain top, which is this pretty little ditty. I don't know if you saw the back very well, but it is a very pretty open back with the lace back there. Very pretty detailing. I do love the crochet back there. Just not crazy about the print. Um, this is $54. That is going to be a no for me. I just wasn't in love with it. Then we have the straight leg Liverpool pants. These are $78. Again, was not in love with this, so it's probably not going to be, I'm not going to keep these. I just, 
you know, I didn't love them. I liked the collar of them with the um, cream colored sweater, but I didn't feel like they did me any favors. Then we have the thick ribbed cardigan. That is this. It is $60, which I feel like is probably pretty reasonable for a nice duster cardigan. I do feel like I'd get a lot of wear out of this. So this is still definitely in the running. Um, I may get online and see if I can find anything similar for cheaper, but I did like the fit. I liked the weight of this. I liked that I would get a lot of use out of it. And I liked, um, I don't know, I liked everything about it. Then we have the blue market and spruce and this is $48 again very soft very pretty I just wasn't in love with it it was just okay um, it is $48 and then lastly of course my favorite is going to be a little more expensive and it is $68 it is also market and spruce so if I were to buy everything I would have a 25% off discount of $77. I do have some credit, so it would bring everything to $178.90, but I am not keeping everything. So um, I am considering these two items. So let me know what you guys think. Um, is it worth the price? Do I need to keep looking? Um, I'm surprised that I do actually like something this time. So good job, Brittany. Thank you so much. So if you guys are new to my channel, I hope that you guys will stick around. Please consider subscribing. I am working towards getting my 1,000 subscribers. So I hope to reach that by the new year. I don't have a whole lot of time. So please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you do not miss an upload. I do unboxings. I've done a couple of, well, I've done one clothing haul, Walmart haul, and then I did um, a collaboration of holiday outfits with some other great channels just a couple of weeks ago, so be sure to check that one out. And I also do book reviews and bookish content um, from time to time. Those are not quite as frequent as what I would like them to be because these take up a lot of time, but I am hoping to get back on it as the new year approaches. So again, please feel free to like, share, comment, all the good things. Let me know what you think. I will see you guys soon. I am sincerely Cindy Settle. I am signing out. Mwah.